the shots he makes and you guys live on all year. That's it. Take your shot. You know, that's his bread and butter. Got to where he wanted to be. Got a good shot up. We missed. Coach, how's his confidence now that he's missed game, game one today? Or to was it tied and then Portland? How's I'm sorry. How's his confidence? Great. I mean, hey, look, I mean, he's, a, he's a tough guy. I mean, he played, you know, played hard. Made a lot of big clutch shots throughout the fourth quarter for us. Um, you know, it came down to the end. It, you know, Mitch made a heck of a block, and Morant came up with the ball and put it back in. That's the difference between winning and losing, right there. Quentin Grimes, go ahead, Ian. Quentin Grimes, uh, just in general, and point of attack defender, how do you, what do you think of him? I thought, you know, hey, Morant is a tough cover, and I thought. You know, he did as good a job as you could possibly do. Uh, I thought Cam gave us really good minutes between the two of them. I was very pleased with, with their defensive effort. Uh, you know, losing quick probably hurt us some. So, uh, but other guys stepped up, played well. I thought uh, the playmaking was very good. I thought we had a lot of movement off the ball. Uh, we we had a, did a good job screening away from the play, off you know, on the weak side. Thought Julius made a, a number of big plays for us, at nine assists. So, you know, just you know, we got to find a way to win at the end. Got to come up with a loose ball. Tell me, did you, why didn't you go back to Quentin in the in the fourth quarter? Just the way the game was unfolding. You know, I like I, I like Cam a lot too, and I, I and that group was rolling pretty good. So just stayed with them. You know, whatever, whatever's working best for our team, that's what we're going to go with. And so, you know, uh, we wouldn't have hesitated to put them back in, and we did at the end. So we went small, you know, for a short stretch there. The, the rebounding was a concern. Coach, this was your 20th game, so it's roughly a quarter of the season. How would you assess where you guys are right now? Yeah, at least at the, at the quarter point, you know, so. A lot of work to do. Just keep concentrating on getting better, improving. Get ready for the next game. They come one at a time. So don't look backwards. Don't look ahead. Just look at exactly what's in front of us. That's where, that's where I want us to be. How frustrating is it that you guys have been able to, unable to close out some of these games at home? Yeah, it's just five or six losses here. Yeah, just keep. You know, we got to keep knocking on the door. Just keep getting better. Try to learn from each game. See what we can do better. Uh, focus in. Get ready for the next game. And, and like I said, in every game, there's going to be good and bad. So try to take what you're doing well, build on that, try to correct the things that you're not doing as well as you would like, and, and move it forward. With Cam and Derek back in the lineup, what, what is that additional thing that they give you? You know, I, I like the depth. I think that's, that's a big plus for us. But I thought, it, you know, we got Deuce in for a couple possessions that, you know, that. And in, in that, that's the the strength of the club is that you got guys like that, and they're they're all deserving and great guys. They all work. So you know, just be ready when your opportunity comes. Get in there, get the job done. Tom guys had kind of contained Ryan for much of the game uh, before the fourth quarter. Him, him and Jalen kind of took it over. Just what kind of do you know? You kind of feel like that's coming at some point. No matter what you do with Ja, that the ball's in his hands and he's going to do something. Yeah, it's you know. And the thing is, is I mean, we're double teaming him. We're doing you know, a lot of stuff, and his playmaking was, you know, he didn't fight it. He just made the right play. You know? And you, you, what you're doing is, when you put two on the ball, you know, you're in rotation, and so then when the ball's up on the board, you got to get back to bodies. And, and uh, you know, they got second shots off of it, but you know, he's we knew that going in. It, you know, he's gonna. He's a he's a fast break unto himself. He's an offense unto himself, uh, and he reads the game well. So, and they you know the, the team's well balanced. I thought Brooks played really hard for them on both ends. Um, they they play for each other. So, 
was a hard fought game. Connor, I recognize offense was not necessarily the problem. <coughs> just more generally, you guys have kind of been the bottom of the league in um, three point percentage for most of the year. You're Ten for thirty tonight. Do you, do you feel like that's something you guys are going to be able to, to bring? Yeah, up? I think I think we're going to get to the league average. I do believe that. I think guys got to continue to work as, as long as, like we had good movement. You know, I think we shot 50%. It was 64 points in the paint. You know, probably didn't run as much as we would have liked. You know, but it, you know, you're, we're scoring plenty of points, 123 points. Uh, you know, got to the line 30 times, 30 assists. You know, there's a lot of good things that, that we've done. I think we're top 10 in fast break points. You know, second chance points were at, you know at the top of the league. So there's a lot of good things, and uh, you know, obviously, getting to the line is important. Getting layups and fast breaks are important. Uh, playing for each other, just getting rhythm shots. I think that's that's big, and I like the the pace that we're playing at. What is the uh, route to get to league average in your mind? What kind of what needs to change? What needs to adjust? What yeah, and, and I thought today, like I thought we had really good movement off the ball. Right, so I want us to continue to focus on that and the screening off the ball, the flares, the screen ins, that sort of thing to create those shots. So, and I, I thought we had a number of those plays tonight and I want to continue for us to continue to do that. I think th those are the, the hardest situations to guard. Like it's, you know, not, there's great players in this league, so there's always pressure on you, whether it's defensive transition, pick and roll defense. But also the, the the randomness of cutting and moving without the ball, those are the hardest things to guard. I think when you look at the the best players like the Curry's and the LeBrons that is when and Morant showed it to to us tonight, it's like when you blitz them, they don't stop moving. And so then your defense has to continue to move. So you may get the initial one right, but you gotta get the second, third, and fourth part right as well. And then you gotta finish. You gotta rebound the ball. And so it, you know, that requires a, a commitment by everybody. Did you see what happened quickly and kind of what? I, I, I did, and I just, you know, so it'll be re examined tomorrow. You got, I mean, you had everybody healthy. You could have gone nine, you, you went 10. Is that just the idea you needed to find 10 minutes and, and Derek minutes? And yeah, I wanted, you know, I, like, I felt like that's what we should do, and I liked the way it worked. And so we'll continue to do that. You know, it's, and like I said, the, you know, we have Jericho and we have Deuce that are deserving as well. You know, Evan is, as well. So there's, you know, but you can't play everyone. So you have to settle on a rotation. I know you touched on um, Cam closing a little bit earlier, but and you mentioned you like the way that group is rolling. With, with, it seemed like in the first half you were really making an effort to match Grimes' minutes with, with Joe. Yeah. Did, was getting away from that in the second half anything that you saw from the way that, that group no was it was running? more like the because of the way that group was was playing you know we we got behind they closed the gap and then it felt like there was a good rhythm to that group and so uh, that that's really the reason why we we did what we did and I to me it's it's also given him a different look you know there's there's you know different like I think Cam's length gives you something different. I think the physicality of Quentin's different, you know, so I think they'll just, and, and you know, we're loaded up, we're trying to guard him with the team. And, you know, and sometimes we, we guarded him great and he still made. All right, thanks, Tom. Can I just, yeah, go ahead. Uh, what would you think of RJ? You know, before the game you mentioned, you know, getting some easy ones might help. Yeah. It seemed like that kind of did happen to it. Yeah, uh, I, th I thought that as the game went on, he got into a pretty good rhythm. And so that was good to see. And we, you know, we want him in the open floor. We want him to run. We want him to move without the ball. You know, he had a couple of great screen ins for us on, on the backside too, that created great shots for us. I think the more we do that to create easy scoring opportunities, it's going to be easier for people to get into rhythm. All right, thanks, Simpson.